Hey friends, welcome back. So I'm here with a Dollar General breakdown for you guys. So on a Saturday, which is going to be the 18th, there's going to be a $5 off 25 coupon available. It's already available um, on your apps if you wanna to go to the Dollar General app and some of you have probably gotten one on the bottom of your receipt if you went shopping on Saturday. Um, I prefer to just do the one that's online. Um, it's just a little bit easier. So go to the Dollar General app and send the $5 off 25 coupon to your Dollar General account. So I have this breakdown in the bottom in the description bar and I do plan on doing another one. But for now, this is what I have come up with for you guys. And I know a lot of people only have Dollar General to coupon at. So that is why I decided to mix up the items and get different things because everybody doesn't have the drugstores that we have available to coupon at. So let me show you in the ad. Um, so the Nivea lotion and the big razors are not in the ad, but everything else is. So um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna go a little bit out of order just because where the things are in the ad but we're gonna pick up, um, let's see, what is on this page? These scrubbing bubbles, so if you can see right here, they're priced at $3.50. So you can grab one of these, and then the cotton nail is going to be, uh, let me just put on over back to where it was. There we go, $4.95. So you can pick up one of those cotton nails or Scott, it just depends on what coupon you have available. I put the cotton nail just because, no random reason, but if you wanna get the Scott's, you can definitely get the Scott's because um, both coupons are available on coupons.com and a lot of you may already um, have them in your inserts. So we're gonna pick up one of these items, one of the scrubbing bubbles, and the next item that we're gonna get that's in the ad is going to be the Johnson & Johnson. Now it is gonna be at the very end of the ad. Again, I'm on the Dollar General website. I wasn't able to pick up an ad um, in store and I didn't get one in my newspaper for some reason. Dollar General's been really iffy with the ads. Sorry, it's taken me forever to get to it. It's all the way at the end. Oh, come on. Sorry. Here we go. Right here. All right, so you'll see that the dollar, I'm sorry, that the Johnson & Johnson is priced at $4. So you can get like the powder or the baby wash or the baby lotion, whatever it is that you want to get. But what you're gonna do is you're going to pick up two of these items. Now, I'm not sure, they might be the little traveler sets. I'm not sure if you can get those with the coupon, but I guess it doesn't hurt to try. But um, I'm not sure if they're included on the coupon, but like I said, if you want to try it, go ahead. But if not, just go ahead and pick up one of the bigger items here. So they're $4 each. And so the other items that are not listed in the ad are going to be the Nivea lotion because the everyday price is $2.75. They're the ones that I've always gotten in the past. Um, and the other item is going to be the big razor. So I noticed a lot at my store that the razors have went up, especially the Schick razors. So the men's razors um, are priced at $3.25, but double check your store. If they are priced more than $3.50, I probably would say not to get them if you don't want to pay $0.50 cents for razors. Um, just because I know at my store the Schick razors are no longer $4.85, they now have been jacked up to six dollars which is ridiculous so if you can get the big women's or rate men's razors priced at about 350 in your store i would say go ahead and get either one i just put men's because those are the ones that are at my store for three dollars and 25 cents so here is the breakdown 
Um, the scrub and bubbles are 350, Cottonelle is 495, the lotion is 275, you're gonna grab two of those, and the Bic razors are 325. So you must get your total to $25 before tax. That's not including tax. If your total is less than $25, then you're gonna need to add something else. And I wrote down here, check your total because our prices may vary from store to store and state to state. And so this is right at $25, just 20 cents over. So double check on the cashier side to make sure your subtotal is $25 before you type in your phone number. If your total is over 25, after she rings up everything or he rings up everything, go ahead and type in your phone number and that's when the $5 off 25 coupon will apply. So again, you must send this coupon to your account prior to shopping. So if you go to the Dollar General app, you'll see that coupon, it should be first. If you don't see it first, just scroll down, it is there. Uh, and make sure you send it to your card, $5 off 25. Once you type in your number, that $5 will come off. Then what you do is you hand the cashier all of your manufacturer coupons. So um, all of the coupons, again, I put where they are found in which insert. Again, this document is below in the description box in a Google document. Once you click on it, you can do a screenshot on your phone or you can print it out. It's up to you. But this is the amount of all the coupons, the BOGO Johnson & Johnson, the scrubbing bubbles is $1 off. That coupon is on coupons.com as well as the Cottonelle. Again, if you prefer to get Scott paper towels, it's whatever you choose. They're both the same price. So here's those two coupons. I don't have these in my ad. You may have received them in your ad, but I didn't, so I had to get them from coupons.com. And the Nivea lotion, that coupon is gonna be in the 312 Red Plum, and the Big Razor coupon is in the 35 Smart Source. So the total in coupons is $12.75. So your total is $25.20, which is up here. That's subtotal. Then you're going to subtract $12.75 in coupons. Then you're going to take off uh, the $5 off $25, leaving your out-of-pocket $7.45. So for $7.45, you are getting $25 worth of items, which in my opinion is very, very good. So, like less than ten dollars for twenty five dollars worth of name brand items and then here are some little notes some questions that i do get a lot when do you type in your phone number i always type mine in after the cashier rings up everything then i hand the cashier my manufacturer coupons the reason is you do not want to hand the cashier your coupons first because if you do that then your total is going to be under $25. So once you type in your phone number, that $5 off of $25 is not going to apply because she's already scanned half of your coupons. A lot of people tell me that my store doesn't take printables. I'm not sure why. These are the printable coupons. I don't know why some stores don't take them. Um, it doesn't matter if they're in black and white or color. My store always takes them. They just scan them. So if your store doesn't, Again, I made a note to check the uh, check your inserts to find the Cottonelle and the Scrubbing Bubbles because those were the only two coupons that were printables that I was using. And again, I will be doing another breakdown in case everyone does not have these coupons. So, with that being said, this is the first dollar general breakdown and i will try to have another one up for you guys tomorrow i hope that this is helpful thank you so much for watching i love you to the moon and back and i'll see you in my next video bye